Robot paratrooper dog, cyborg dove, centaur robot, drones that can assemble in swarms of thousands, and many more military robots and drones on display at Euronovel 2022 and beyond. You're on the Karo Show channel. Enjoy watching. At the Aeronaval 2022 military exhibition, the latest Blue Shark warship of the French company Naval Group was presented. It is a surface concept ship, consisting of a main hull and two floats. This design provides half the ship's resistance, maximum rollability, and low acoustic signature. The creators promise that the Blue Shark will have high combat performance, guaranteed sea readiness, high radar stealth, and a fleet of unmanned vehicles on board. The ship is expected to assemble some 20 advanced environmental technologies from propulsion to energy management, including materials and onboard waste treatment systems. The idea behind the Blue Shark is to combine the highest combat performance with environmental technologies. Also at the Euronaval 2022 military exhibition in Paris, the rapid-fire autonomous drone swarm-killing turret was unveiled. The novelty was presented by Nexter and Thales. In modern warfare, assets worth billions of dollars, such as warships, face cheap but deadly threats, such as drones, floating mines, and hover munitions. To combat such threats is the rapid fire, which the developers claim is capable of finding, capturing, and destroying threats both on land and at sea on its own. For quick fights, there are 140 rounds of the rack, which should be enough for about 30 interceptions. The turret can also be controlled remotely. It is equipped with high-precision optics of the electronic fire control system, with multispectral sight and high-speed laser rangefinder. Rapid Fire can automatically select the appropriate ammunition for specific threats. Rapid Fire is scheduled for deployment next year for maritime qualification aboard the French Navy's Jacques Chevalier replenishment tanker. For land use, the system can be adapted to the Caesar MK2 truck chassis and other platforms. Rafale Advanced Defense Systems showcased its entire portfolio of integrated naval solutions, including the Rafale Seabreaker, a highly accurate, long-range, autonomous, naval, strike, anti-ship missile system that allows for operator intervention at any stage. It uses an electro-optical homing system, computer vision, artificial intelligence, and decision-making systems. The Seabreaker delivers a spot strike at distances of up to 300 kilometers against stationary and moving sea and land targets at high, subsonic speeds. MBDA presented at Euronaval a solution for countering maritime drones. It relies on a number of sensors and effectors, such as Mistral 3 air defense missiles and Akiro ground-to-ground missiles. The system can effectively neutralize any form of threat from unmanned aerial vehicles to small unmanned surface ships. Being modular, scalable, and developable, the system can be tailored to specific customer requirements to effectively and appropriately meet specific complex operational scenarios. The Israeli Harpy drone can be used both for reconnaissance and as a kamikaze drone. Its own radar and navigation system allows it to act according to a pre-written program written by the operator or search for targets by radar itself. The radar allows the drone to quickly locate enemy air defense systems by their emissions. The Harpy is virtually impossible to jam, and it is a difficult target for air defense because its composite hull does not allow it to be detected at long range. Secondly, even kamikaze drones can be reusable. For example, Hero, which is a further development of the Harpy drone concept. Using a visual target classification system borrowed from the Spike missile, Allow these kamikaze drones without using radar to detect targets visually and identify target type by comparing the picture with a three-dimensional library. This allows the drones to be completely autonomous. The operator can literally only specify the square of the target search, after which the drone will automatically leave the launcher and fly to the specified square to look for targets. If no targets are found, the drone will return to the square specified by the operator and land by parachute. Then it can be used again after refueling. This is fundamentally different from earlier versions of Kamikaze drones, for which each flight was the last. Third, drones have learned to operate in swarms, which multiplies their value, capabilities, and destructive power. These kinds of drones are capable of conducting coordinated attacks with minimal involvement from the operator. Taking off, forming, and holding formation, following the route, returning to base and landing are done autonomously. 
Some drums are capable of selecting and engaging targets independently, alone or coordinating with other team members. The system's base neurotechnology for emerging therapies program has become a major project. The program is designed to create an implantable closed-loop diagnostic and therapeutic system for the treatment of psychoneurological diseases. Essentially, the program wants to create a brain implant to help soldiers deal with post-traumatic stress disorder and other problems. Interestingly, at the very beginning of the work on neurointerspheres, the developers stated that they would create a chip with which the military would control combat robots and drones by the power of thought. Norfolk Grumman is also working on autonomous drones that can exchange information between themselves and the manned vehicle. The company is betting on reducing the cost of payloads, as well as the use of drone swarms and artificial intelligence technologies. And smart algorithms are used not only to detect and recognize targets, but also to diagnose malfunctions in the drone itself, which reduces its operating costs. Returning to the topic of drone swarms, Drone Light Show introduced a drone swarm control system. It picks up the operator's intentions, controls drone trajectory and swarm status, such as taking off in an animated sequence, controlling the drone's camera, and landing in real time. The technology is in its early stages, but has great potential for use. The MQ-9 Reaper or Predator B drone from General Atomics Aeronautical Systems is used not only by the Air Force, but also by U.S. Customs and Border Protection. The drone is positioned as the world's first hunter-killer with long-range and high-altitude surveillance capability, although it is not the most technologically advanced combat drone today. With multiple upgrades and millions of flight hours under its belt, it can take off at an altitude of 14 kilometers or 8.5 miles and stay in the air for up to 30 hours. The drone has a top speed of 480 kilometers per hour or 298 miles per hour. The drone is capable of lifting up to 4 and 7 tenths tons of cargo into the sky, recognizing and tracking a target, and reading a license plate from a distance of 3 kilometers from the vehicle. Reaction time to a command received from the operator is one and a half seconds. The drone is armed with an anti-tank missile and guided bombs. The drone can also carry up to 14 air-to-ground missiles. And on the topic of the presentation of military technology, it is impossible not to mention China. The Chinese company Kestrel Defense demonstrated the throwing of an armed robot drone. According to the defense company, the drone can move behind enemy lines and conduct a so-called surprise attack by dropping a robot dog. It turns out to be such fighting dogs coming down from the sky. China never ceases to amaze. Recently, researchers from Shandong University of Science and Technology created the cyborg pigeon. They implanted a chip in the bird's brain, then attached a solar panel about half the size of a smartphone screen to its back to power the control device. As a result, scientists were able to control the pigeon's flight for two hours. In this case, the bird performed the sent commands with up to 90% probability. Specialists believe that these experiments will help find the perfect way to control living organisms. And on the subject of drones, we should also mention the relatively new Chinese drone, Hongdu GJ-11 Sharp Sword from Hongdu Aviation Industry Group, mainly used by the Chinese People's Liberation Army Air Force. It is a low-visibility combat drone about which almost nothing is known. There are reports that it is equipped with a large internal weapons bay and is capable of delivering laser-guided munitions. The drone is equipped with a single turbofan engine and an inconspicuous jet nozzle. The exact purpose of the device is unknown, but most likely it performs aerial reconnaissance and surveillance. Meet the Centaur robot, which climbs a platform three-tenths of a meter, carrying 17 kilograms of payload. The development team has published a paper on trajectory optimization based on a model for planning the movements of four-legged, mobile manipulators that carry a heavy payload of known mass. The proposed formula simultaneously plans the movement manipulates the payload, and accounts for the dynamics of the robot model and the payload while remaining computationally efficient. As the payload increases, the robot changes the degree of leg extension to increase controllability.
One of the key areas of focus for leading military robot companies lately has been the creation of robotic pilots and artificial intelligence capable of controlling aircraft and helicopters, including combat ones, so very soon should pass the final tests of artificial intelligence control technologies on Sikorsky helicopters. The test program includes remote and autonomous missions. This system consists of a robotic pilot, voice interface, and software. In order to install this program on a combat helicopter from the U.S. Army, only a LiDAR and a camera are needed. Thanks for watching this video. Write in the comments what was your favorite part of this video. Subscribe to the Karo Show channel and watch our previous videos. Goodbye.